Sit. Sit. Good girl. Good girl. Yay. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, you ready? You ready? Look what I got for you. Good daddy. Good daddy. Come on. Come on, over here, baby. Come on. What daddy have? Oh, that's right. a girl. Okay, sit down. Sit. 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 There we go. <laughs> that's a win read. That's a good girl. Thank you. Thank you. So uh, a couple weeks ago, we bought this harness in, uh, in preparation or, or getting ready to start training her how to walk on the leash. And back then it was uh, too big. And now it's been about two weeks or so and she's, she's grown into it. The purpose of the harness is actually it's really a lot better for the dog. And so like for this, we, you know, we slip the harness on for her and it goes over her head like this and then up underneath and then it will buckle or latch however you want to say it on either side and so what this does is it has a connection here one has got this handle so if you really want to grab on you can do whatever you need to do uh, actually you can even like lift her up because it's taking all of the pressure off of her neck and putting it on her chest and so it'd be just the same thing as picking her up with your hand underneath her, the chest and so uh, this also has this loop which is where you're going to put your leash and the leashes typically are going to have some type of a latch you know, of some sort whether like like this style or you know that you just open it up and put it on or you have some other type of style like this and it's just going to open up and pretty much whatever you use is all going to connect to it the same way and the reason why that's important is because again on the normal collars they'll have the little loop but as you're trying to walk it's going to if, if she runs forward or you put any kind of tension on that that leash it puts all of that pressure on her throat and chokes her and so you don't want to have the leash pulling against their throat and choking them. And that's where, again, having this connected as the harness, it takes all that pressure off of the throat and puts it onto their shoulders and chest area. And so you can you know, really <laughs> yank on it a little bit and it's not going to give them any kind of pain or discomfort at all. Uh, so you have this one on the back, which is designed for when they're walking. And then on the front, you have one here which is more designed for um, seat belts. And so they do make a, a doggy seat belt thing that will clip on and then it goes down and buckles into the seat belt buckle for transporting your, your animal. Uh, animal transportation laws are gonna vary from state to state. So definitely look up your, whatever the laws are in your state. In Maryland, the law basically says the animal has to be restrained such that it cannot interfere with the driver. So whether that is putting your, your animal in a kennel that's been secured to the vehicle somehow or putting your animal uh, with the seat belt uh, thing that we we're talking about, the doggy seat belt, or plain and simply having a harness or a uh, leash and having the leash fastened to the vehicle in some manner just as long as it prevents the animal from being able to interfere with the driver. So that would be, uh, th this again works uh, great because if you have it on the leash or on the collar and uh, you want to make sure that if you're using that to transport and have them secured you don't want her to jump or be in a situation where she starts hanging herself effectively uh, simply because all of that pressure gets put on her neck so again by by having even just this and fastening the, the leash to the different part of the vehicle will be much safer for transporting uh, than on this the collar itself so does it fit you, baby? So Let's see. we like it. It's good for her. She's getting oh, used baby. to it. And you know what? This is adjustable as well. So the bigger she becomes, you can adjust this back and forth, and then it'll fit her body. But so far, it finally fit her. She's about ten weeks old. Yeah. Ten weeks old, and she's becoming a big dog. You look so pretty. You look pretty, baby. Let's see. Oh. Winry up, Winry up, sit, Winry, <gasps> sit, <laughs> sit, sit, <laughs> can you get up, sit, sit baby, sit, please, sit, sit, Winry sit, <laughs> Winry sit, sit, <laughs> oh, and you know what, this right here, it glows, it gives reflection at night time. So if we're walking her in the evening time, that should reflect when the, the headlight shine on us. Okay, baby, no eating. No eating. Come on, 
Let's go. Let's go outside. Let's go. We're going to be able to use this for hopefully years. No, we'll be able to use it for maybe a month or two. A two? It's adjustable, babe. I don't think that will get big enough to fit her for much more than another well, ma maybe two months. Well, like I said, it fit her. Yep. But uh, for now. For now. What is on you? Oh, what's on you? Oh, what's on you? What's on you, baby? What you wearing? You look so cute! That way. What? <laughs> you look so cute, baby! Go as long as you so the next step is to try to teach her how to walk next to me. She's my digger, all right. Oh, what's that? What's that on you? What's that on, baby? What's that on you, huh? What's that on you, boo boo? Huh? Don't fall in it. Don't fall in it. That's a girl. What you looking for? Fall in the water. Let's go. Come on. Come on, let's go eat. Come on. Come on, Winry. It's cold, baby. Come on. Winry. Come on, baby. That's a girl. And she looks good. So, oh. <laughs> Bathroom call. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Bye.